we can take a low dose of Reta and get the GLP-1 into our system and get the GLP-1 attached to those receptors in our brain and reduce the inflammation in our brain and help prevent Alzheimer's and, and you know, <laughs> neurodegenerative diseases like that, like that's a huge bonus, you know, to, to using these and not using them for appetite suppression. Like anti-inflammatory benefits of GLP-1s are huge. There's a whole community out there that are using GLP-1s microdose at a low dose that aren't affecting appetite for pain management, as opposed to using pain pills with retrotide specifically because it has the glucagon in it. The glucagon is gonna go in there and work your liver in the way that it's gonna burn the fat out of your liver, preventing non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. If we are in a bulking situation, trying to eat in a surplus, like if you went and did an MRI of any bodybuilder that's been bulking for a significant amount of time and looked at their liver, I guarantee you that they've got a significant amount of fat buildup in there. It's not that it's bad, it's not that it's like permanent, it's not like it's, you know, it's a terrible thing, like you can burn that out from, they're gonna burn it out when they do their contest prep, but if they can take something like retitrutide and go through their bulking situation and prevent fat buildup in their liver, their liver is going to be functioning more optimally and it's going to be able to uh, process the drugs that they're taking better. They're going to be able to have better cholesterol levels over time because their liver's functioning on a higher level. You do, it's just going to make your bulking, your bulking situations, your bulking uh, season so much more productive and optimal.